Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a test. We're going to be trying the meta setups versus MoTeC and actually building the setup from scratch and actually putting some time into it and seeing is it really worth running the meta setups or not and why so many people choose to run meta setups instead of actually grinding setups like we used to do back in the day. So I decided to use a car like the Honda NSX Evo because I don't I don't really have any experience in it. It's something that's going to be brand new to me. Last time I drove the NSX consistently, I think was back in like 2019 when I did a I think it was like a red line racing league before before um Dave and Dave and Simgrid was a thing. Okay, so um we're gonna jump in that and we're gonna see what we can do straight away. I'm just gonna jump straight into the setup and just do the basic things we would do for a you know a broken meta setup as you would call it. I'm not sure if it works perfectly like it does for some of the other cars, but I know some of the basics will definitely work. So let's get stuck into the video. So first and first, we're just going to upload the um, aggressive setup and I'm going to just actually, I'm going to run this on two minus two. You don't have to go all the way to, to minus four on the toe anymore. We'll put the cameras up. I'm going to put this down to zero. I'm not too sure about the tire pressure, so I'm going to leave those for now. Let's max the caster. TC down to one. Right now, most of what we're going to do here is just put all this stuff to a minimum. Normally go up maybe a couple clicks on the bump stop range. Gonna go up on this 50. This is this is like no training, no nothing. We're just gonna jump straight in um see what we can do. I think I think I like steering ratio pretty um pretty small. So we're gonna do that. Max the rebounds and the and fast rebound gonna run this pretty low I'm not sure that there's a few different metas some of them some people run this all the way to minimum some people run the fronts all the way to maximum some people do this I'm not sure what is gonna work with the Honda so I'm gonna do in between I'm gonna do that um, max wing two three I don't know why the front ride height is on 58. Um, let's pick. I'm not too sure how much rake we need either. Go with 68, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I don't, realistically, I don't really have to test too much because these are the kind of things that just seem to just work, even though they shouldn't. So I'm going to go on track. I'm going to do a few laps and see... What kind of lap times we're able to produce you can see now i haven't had to drive the car i haven't had to test anything but let's see what we can do we actually went ahead and fixed the tire pressures and changed the brake bias a little bit so now let's see see what we can do oh or last corner Let's give it another lap. Up again.
a little bit better. All right, 41 0. We're going to look at the, the potential lap time that we could have got. Um, I feel like I, I kind of messed up the last sector there. So, 30.7 was a pretty good first sector. And yeah, as you can see, I just kept messing up the last sector after doing my fastest one. So, I'd probably say, maybe, pro probably could have got a 40.8, maybe. If we had nailed the lap, I think we could have got a 40.8. So let's just say, you know, that's what you're capable of straight out of the box. Pretty much capable of a 40.8 straight out of the box. Not having to, you know, do hours of practice or anything like that. Pretty much three laps, 40.8, I would say is, you know, what I could get out of myself without practice if I was just jumping the online lobby. And that's the, that's the whole reason for this video because... A lot of the time, if you're not doing a league race and you're just a casual player, you just want to jump online and jump into a lobby, you know you can put on a meta setup and don't really have to practice. You know that the car's going to have a decent amount of speed. And what has it taken to make that setup? All of maybe two, three minutes max. Um, now we're going to go ahead and look at what we'd have to do in MoTeC if we were to try and get the damper histogram perfect and stuff like that. How much it would take to actually, you know, get the car where you need it to be and what times would you be able to do if you were just give, given free laps, you know? So, um, let's see. So, first, we're going to come back over here. We're going to put back on an aggressive setup. Then we need to actually open MoTeC um, itself. So let's get MoTeC open. MoTeC, MoTeC, where are we? Boom, get that open. So I have MoTeC here on the other screen, so let's um let's do the setup. I can't remember what the typers were, but we can figure it out with MoTeC. We've had to go up in some things. Um Straight out of the box, we're going to put it back to 1TC, get rid of TC2. We're going to put telemetry maps on because obviously you need that to get the information into MoTeC. Put the brake, um, put the brakes back down to 1, put that back down to 10. I'm going to do the general things. I don't believe running the ride high at 58 is beneficial to anybody on this track. So, do that. I'm going to leave ride height there for now. Dampers I'm not going to touch yet. Mechanical grip I'm not going to touch yet. I'm going to do a few laps just to get the car into motor. Let's change the uh, I set. Well. Right, so we should be all set. Um, I'm going to leave the caster for now as well. We'll put the camber rear camber up. Because I feel, I feel like those are just basic things. Like having your camber on maximum and stuff like that. Those are just basic things that everyone would be doing. So, we're going to do that. And we're going to do a few laps. And then we're going to look at the histogram in MoTeC and see what it looks like. And then from there, we will alter things, try to get it to have a nice pronounced triangle on the damper histogram. And, you know, sort the pressures out and stuff like that. And see how fast the car is in comparison and how long it actually takes us. Right about now, I'm actually filming this. It's about 20 to 12, 20 to midnight. Um, it took me around about three minutes to make the first setup. And let's see what time <laughs> is going to be until I'm happy with the car without using the broken meta, so to speak. So I did a couple of laps just to get um, MoTeC data. You can see... The lap time is pretty much half a second off of where we were. A um, lot more understeer. And just imagine, I actually put the front down to minimum. The front would have been on 58. We went down four clicks, I believe. So this car would not have been turning. That is why, you know, the default setups just don't work, in my opinion. The default setups are, you're not going anywhere fast with a default setup on ACC. Let's just put it that way. Um, so let's get MoTeC up and have a look what MoTeC looks like right now in terms of the dampers. Um, have a little look. I'll drag it over to the screen. Let's open this up. 
Right. So, dampers are pretty much all over the place. Um, this isn't bad, but the, the percentage isn't right. So we want to try and get the low rebound and low bump, which is the section in the middle here. I'm going to try to get it to about 30%. And then get the get the uh the fast rebounds and the fast bump to about 20 percent right here so we want these to be on 30 and this number to be as close as we can get it to 20 and that's for all of these um all four corners of the car so that's what we're going to try and do let's just drag both these laps in together and um the back so far is not too bad man the front is kind of all over the place we gotta go a few clicks down. It looks like on the um, slow bump, and definitely have to go a lot softer on the slow rebound. So let's go into the setup and try and make some changes and see what we can do. So we did another three laps, and we're still about half a second off, man. So let's let's get into the histogram and see what it looks like now. Now we've made those changes. Um, I could definitely tell that the the breaking the breaking distance. Definitely you'd see um seem to extend a little bit more. It's a little bit harder to break. Um so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Load a new one. And still still more work to do. The our edges are not too bad on the far stuff, but we still gotta get this down. Um definitely not working. On the brakes for sure, the brake distance was not the same. If we extend this over those three laps. You see at no point was the, the um dampers in the correct place also we need to um make sure we got the tires in the right place because the tires tire temps didn't seem correct i have even got the the right um i don't even think i've got the the right same um motec anymore man because i used to be able to check all the tire pressures I think I've got a different workspace now, I guess. I need to get a new one because I don't like this one. Um, tire pressures are here, I guess, but they're not in the right... Um, not in degrees, I don't think. Anyway, we'll, we'll do that in the setup. Still needs work. Let me put it, put Motec back to the other screen again. Because it definitely was, um, definitely not working out so far. I think as well, we're going to have to go a little softer on a mechanical, a mechanical grip. So we'll put that down as well. Clicks. Bump stop range slightly. Dampers still need a bit of work. Down to three. See, maybe the bump actually needs more. Bump was still slightly too stiff. Down to three. Can actually go higher on the fast bump. And also on the fast rebound. This wasn't actually too bad in the rear. We can go slightly higher on that. Again, we're almost down to minimum levels on the uh, slow rebound and slow bump. Um we should change the, the rake yet i want to get the histogram as good as i can get it and then start working on the feeling of the car but already guys i can tell you that is now 20 minutes have gone and still nowhere near you know where the car needs to be and probably one of the biggest reasons why people were opting for the meta setups because it's quick and it is easy man anyway let's 
go ahead and do some more laps so we did another three laps and we're still about half second off man so let's let's get into the histogram and see what it looks like now now we've made those changes um i could definitely tell that the the breaking the breaking distance definitely see um seem to extend a little bit more it's a little bit harder to break um so let's go ahead and get rid of that load new one and still still more work to do the our edges are not too bad and the fast stuff but we still gotta get this down um definitely not working on the brakes for sure the brake distance was not the same if we extend this over those three laps you see at no point was the, the um dampers in the correct place also we need to um make sure we got the tires in the right place now because the tires tire temps didn't seem correct i even got the the right um i don't even think i've got the the right same um motec anymore man because i used to be able to check all the tire pressures i think i've got a different workspace now i guess i need to get a new one because i don't like this one um Tire pressures are here, I guess, but they're not in the right, um, not in degrees, I don't think. Anyway, we'll, we'll do that in the setup. Still needs work. Let me put it, put Motec back to the other screen again. Because it definitely was um definitely not working out so far. I think as well we're gonna have to go a little softer on a mechanical the mechanical grip. So we'll put that down as well. Clicks. Bump stop range slightly. Dampers still need a bit of work. Down to three. See, maybe the bump actually needs more. Bump was still slightly too stiff. But down to three. Can actually go higher on the fast bump. And also on the fast rebound this wasn't actually too bad in the rear we can go slightly higher on that again we're almost down to minimum levels on the uh slow rebound and slow bump um whether we should change the the rake yet I want to get the histogram as good as I can get it and then start working on the feeling of the car. But already, guys, I can tell you that it's now 20 minutes have gone and still nowhere near, you know, where the car needs to be. And probably one of the biggest reasons why people were opting for the meta setups because it's quick and it is easy, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some more laps. So hopefully the car will handle a little better than it was. Because the car is flatter in terms of rake, I think it's a bit quicker down the straight. I didn't feel too bad. A little bit of understeer on corner exit.
Might have to keep it in first for longer. Okay, the braking feels better. Forty one five again. All right, much better so far. Temp slower. Right, we're about a temp slower. Possibly if I'd have nailed that that um second to last corner, I think I think we could have got a lot closer. But we were we were close that time, man. We were close. But still um if I'm thinking of the, the absolute potential of the lap, I probably could have hit a forty one zero. But I still think that would have been around about two tenths of the potential of the meta setup, which you have to remember, all I did was three laps. And those are the first three laps that I've tried. Now I've, you know, I've been doing laps, so I'm up to 11 laps. So I'm probably a little bit more confident than when I first jumped, jumped straight onto the track. But if you look, if you look at the sector times, all my fastest sectors were done still with the meta setup, which is... Kind of crazy when you think about it because I've had so many laps to get used to the car, you know, and still all the faster sector times have been done with the, the meta setup. So as I can tell you now, it is 10 past 12. We've now been at it for pretty much half an hour. Um, so let's get Motec back up. That... More laps. And we're, we're getting there slowly at the front. We're getting there. This is pretty much the left hand side is fine. The right hand side still needs work and the rear of the car is still all over the place. But this is probably why the times are getting closer because we're getting closer to sort of the optimal dampers. Um definitely on the the um the front in terms of the rebounds is pretty decent so we need to still sort the get the bump where it needs to be the rear still needs work and we're going to increase the rake i think as well and hopefully that should put us in good stead so guys after about it's been it's actually the next day i, I was obviously um making the setup around about 20 to midnight last night but i got too tired and i was doing too many laps and I, I couldn't get the histogram the way i wanted it to so it's now the next day in total i've spent about 45 minutes trying to get the car to this current point where the histogram looks decent i actually switched out the motec to a, um to an older version to the k switch workspace because i just know that one better so it's not perfect but it's close enough the damper's looking pretty good now now all that's left is to tweak the other parts of the setup, like the toe and, you know, how much rake I'm definitely going to run. Then we'll pull it back through Motec again, um, just to get all the other parts of the car, like, exactly where I want it. And then we can go from there and see, actually, um, you know, how fast we can get the car. The fastest time I managed to do to this point, I think, was a 41.2. So I'm only around about, um, only around about a tenth of what I've got, but... The potential still has not quite been as fast as what it was on the meta setup. So I'm trying to get it to a point where I can definitely go quicker than the meta or at least equal it. And you guys will see, you know, it's a toss up which which one you would want to use. But then also hopefully I can in the next couple of days, I'll do this video in two parts. Actually, in the next couple of days, I'm going to try and do two races on LFM around Kialami because it's Kialami at the moment. And um, I'm going to see which setup 
fares better in the race. Hopefully the conditions are similar. And we'll look at the tire wear and stuff like that. But that'll be in part two. And also you have to remember on LFM, I think that the NSX is a little bit quicker because it has the minus um, KG, which I don't have in my own, obviously in my own practice lobby. So um, let's see. Anyway, guys, let's get stuck into the changes and see what we can do. Point one. So we did one more lap and just to get completely the tire pressure is perfect. We just know we need to go up two clicks on the front left, one click on the front right. The rear tires are pretty much where they need to be. So that'll be the average tire pressures over the whole lap. 27.0 is what we really realistically want to get. Um, now I'm going to make a few changes maybe to the rake a little bit i think i feel like the car's in the in the place where it needs to be in terms of the dampers um so we're going to make changes to the rake so like if i go maybe a tad higher i don't actually want to go too much higher because it's at the moment it's quite a stable platform so we'll go up one click i think on that um maybe go up to 100 on the preload to make sure we're safe there um the toe i'm actually gonna put down to zero other than that i think i think we're there man i think we are at a point where we could probably get quite a lot out of this setup now <laughs> in terms of time we are now on about what time did i start it's now about five to three in the afternoon and i got on about five past two so it's like 50 minutes actually i got on it no i got on at two it's like 55 minutes if you add to that the time i spent yesterday before i went to bed um <laughs> we're definitely on coming up towards two hours on building this setup to the point where it's at now compared to the three minutes that it took me to just quickly jump on track and do a lap with the the meta setup and i still actually haven't officially beaten that lap yet so should be able to do it now though because the car feels pretty good we're at, we're at a 41 2 um on the last lap i could have beat it but i messed up the last sector as you can see sector times are starting to get there now um i think we're getting 30.7 in the first of the meta setup 40.1 in the middle and 29.8 I think was my fastest last sector with the meta setup so we're still like a tenth off in every sector so we need to definitely need to fix that so let's see what we can do man um this setup I will definitely try and erase for LFM car should be a bit quicker as well with the the minus I'm not sure how much this minus maybe it's like seven or eight kg which you know a couple attempts should be should be doable so Let's see how it goes, man. Let's 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 get a lap in. Right, we've kept on tinkering and feel like maybe this should be the one. It's always a good sign when it's very easy to get on the throttle, even even on one TC. Still a little bit of sliding there.
Oh, gone a bit too deep. Right, we can definitely beat that lap. Better through the first. We gained loads in the last corner. <sighs> Finally. Finally. 40.8 that the potential matches the potential of the meta setup. Not sure how much quicker I could have gone there. I still feel like I made a small mistake in the last corner. Um but we managed to match the 30.7 in the first, the 40.1 in the middle, and still a little bit off of the last sector but i would say the setup is roundabout in the same place but it has taken us literally two hours and 13 minutes in totality because obviously i was at this yesterday so look at how much i'm having to grind just to get into the same sort of place where you can just jump on track with the meta setup which is kind of crazy but what I will say is there's definitely much more satisfaction when you've worked on a setup and it comes good as opposed to just throwing a setup together. So in my opinion, Kunos need to go back a couple of patches. I don't know to when or, or, or from when, but they need to go back to where you had to literally put time into your setups, man, because it, it, it definitely ruins the, the immersion of the game. And, um, you know, we, we're seeing... We're just seeing r ridiculous setups at the moment, guys, to be honest. But I'm going to test it in a race. I want to see how, how well it gets on in a race, how the tyres hold up and all that good stuff. Theoretically, this should be better in a race than the, the Mare setup because, you know, it's made specifically for this track. Um, so, yeah, let's see. I hope you guys did enjoy the first part of this video. Script it TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Also, as well... Leave a comment in the comment section below. See if, if you try something similar. What what was your results? Um, again, if you need help with setups, man. Obviously, I've put a lot into this setup. So you guys have basically got a free Honda setup. Also, you can purchase my sim racing tuning book, which is in the description below as well. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit, man. Peace.